Hello, uh, today we're doing, what if Jujutsu Kaisen characters had Pokemon? Now, uh, the heads up, you only have to see season one. I haven't seen, uh, the movie and I haven't read the manga. So, anytime I do do, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen stuff, it'll probably only be about for the first season-ish. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, this one is if they had Pokemon. So, yeah, I'll... I have nine characters that we're going to go over, or eight, depending on uh, one of them. But uh, we got nine to eight characters that we're going to go over, and yeah, uh, there's that. First off is Yuji Itadori. Now, I, can, I can't really fully explain about everything here. But I do see Yuji Itadori with these Pokemon. I mean, I would say Lucario is a pretty good fit, if not his ace. Uh, for Alligator, I thought would be a decent starter for him. Mimikyu, I mean, I just see that with him. Crobat and Ampharos kind of give me main character vibes, if I'm being honest. I just, I just see it. I mean, like... If you guys think that you have a better team, then go at it. I, Yeah. I just think that these just kind of seem like Pokemon for Yuji Itadori. I mean, it, yeah. That's just what I think. I think that a lot of his Pokemon would have very powerful moves by the time they're evolved. And by, uh... Now, I did say that I hadn't read the manga, but I do vaguely know what happens. So I would say by Shibuya Incident Arc, they would all probably be fully evolved, is what I had to guess. So, like, his starter and stuff would probably evolve around his first mission, uh, you know, when he gets his hand taken off and stuff. Uh, his starter would probably evolve. He'd probably just find Mimikyu somewhere. Uh, he'd probably evolve Lucario, uh, when he first fights Mahito, uh, and stuff like that. I mean, I think you get the idea of kind of around when they would evolve, just usually, like, big fights. Uh, for our second character is Sukuna. Yeah, I know he's technically not a character character since he's never actually doing things, uh, for... Unless if it's like episode 4 or something. So he's not around much. But for Sukuna, as you can tell, legendaries, dark type. Well, Zekrom isn't a dark type. But you get what I mean. Legends uh, that don't look very nice. Giratina is practically the devil of Pokemon. Eternatus, yeah, I don't have much to say. Zekrom... Is literally just makes legendaries go dark mode, like on Discord. Yaveltal is dark mode too. Darkrai, I'm pretty sure literally like the god of shadows. Hmm. And then Zekrom is just crazy intimidating. So, you know, those are my thoughts and opinions on that. That's why I gave Sukuna his team. Now, what's probably not... Good competitively, you could probably tear it apart with, like, a fairy type or something. But, whatever. That's what I think Sukuna's team would be. I just tried to give him some mean legendary Pokemon, like Giratina and Yaveltal and Zekrom and Eternatus. So, yeah. Now, for everyone's fan favorite, Gojo Satoru. Now, for this team... I wanted to give him a team that felt, like, powerful, yet kind of matched his energy, but could get serious. Now, uh, when I'm talking about energy, that's what the Whooper is for. The Whooper ain't going into battle. Though, knowing Gojo, it probably has some broken stats, and he would probably protect it with his life. The Blast Toys... Uh, obviously, if he was going to have a starter, it'd be from Kanto. Now, I was debating a Charizard for him. And if it was, then it would be a Charizard X. But I could also see Blastoise, so Blastoise is there. 
uh, Gengar because I can't just Gengar cursed cursed energy Gengar. I mean, I could have put Gengar on that for any reasons, but Gengar also has extremely high energy. Salamance is uh, very serious, but hits like a truck and is uh, very good. Uh, same with Dragapult, but I feel like it'd just be the funny guy. And then Togekiss is... Uh, it's Togekiss. I just like it, and I think it would be good for Gojo uh, and his team. I think he would enjoy it. So yeah, those are Gojo 6. Next up is Megumi Fushigiro. Now, uh, for his team... I wanted it to be more dark type slash ghost type oriented. And yes, I know Swadloon and Staraptor are not ghost, wait no, are not ghost and or dark. But I have my reasons. So for the Mighty Anna, uh, he likes uh, like devil dogs and stuff. So I spawned that in because, you know, I think he would enjoy it. He's a dog person. Swadloon, because we all know this guy is a couch potato. Don't, like, he fell asleep on a mission in the final arc, okay? Like, we know this man is a couch potato, and he doesn't really want to do anything. And I just think that Swadloon kind of fits his personality. Zoroark, I think he'd enjoy too. Same with Crocodile and Bayonet. I just think they all kind of fall into the same category. Of he'd probably spawn them in and stuff, right? They'd probably enjoy them. Now, Staraptor, because of his bird thing that uh, he has around him, I forgot what its name was, but uh, I do know that he had the bird thing, and it, yeah, that's that's what I would think his team was. And I also had him predominantly dark type and stuff because this man thinks that he's the edge lord of them all. Even though he has a bug, which is good against Dark. I just think that's kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, that's why I think Fushiguro Megumi or Megumi Fushiguro's team would be. So, uh, Nora Bora, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, that is, uh, this lady. Now, uh, I believe that she would have probably a Steelix, Metagross, Stoutland, Slowbro, Torterra, and Trapinch because, number one, for the two Steel types, I think that they fit her really nicely in that, like, wow, she isn't just, you know, like, some weak person in Shonen, as the girls usually do get shafted in Shonen, very sadly. So I wanted to give her actually strong Pokemon like others because, you know, she's actually pretty strong, which is pretty cool. And yeah, but uh, so Steelix and Metagross because, yeah, I just think that she enjoys Steel types. And if I had to put her as a gym leader, I'd probably give her Steel types. Stoutland, I feel like with Megumi, it just fits with her. I'd think that she'd be a dog person. Slowbro. So her and Itadori are so goofy together. Like, I think there's a shot where they're, like, dancing on stage or something while being goofy together. And I think that that's why she would like Slowbro. It'd probably be, like, an accidental catch that she didn't want. But then eventually grow to like it. Torterra, that would probably be her starter that I think fits the best with her. And a trap pinch, because I think she would just like a trap pinch. She'd probably hope it to evolve into a Flygon, but I think the whole small but mighty thing would uh, she would enjoy. Maybe she could even do like the hammer thing, but with but instead of a nail, she like hits the trap pinch, and then the trap pinch like bites down into a curse or something. I don't know. That was just a thought, but yeah, that's why I think Nora Bora's team is. I thought I did pretty well on that. But moving on, our next person is Panda. He has a Pangoro. Need I say more? He's a Panda. He's a Panda. I think they could actually communicate. Need I say more? Toto, he'd probably be a fighting type gym leader. Uh, so I gave him a ton of fighting types uh, that I think he'd like. A lot of nice muscly ones. Because he does show... Uh, his bulkiness and stuff throughout the show and he is insanely powerful 
Now, the lap bunny in Gardevoir is usually because, like, he... He he is weird and he's like and he's and he judges your personality based off of what type of girl you like. So that's why they're there. Uh he's weird, but uh he is he, he does he he gets better through, as the show goes. But uh yeah, I thought that he was uh, yeah. Next up is Maki Zenin. Now I tried to give her a team really based off of combats and spiky weaponry because she doesn't seem to have too much, uh, how do I say, love in her heart, right? She's more of a, the whole combat, take the air of the throne, <laughs> right? So I tried to give her more battle-focused Pokemon, like Toxicroak, uh, Haxorus, Surfetched, Greninja, which would be her starter shocker, uh, Excavalier and Gloid, so I thought that was a decent lineup going off of her, you know, like, battle stuff. And also, eventually, I think she would try and open up to her Pokemon and maybe even her sister. <gasps> I know, crazy. I haven't read the manga. Maybe she does, maybe she doesn't. I don't know. But still, I think that uh, her team for this point is pretty good. Next up is Toge. Also, I didn't know his name until making this video because I generally thought, because I didn't know his name, so I just called him Salmon Guy since he spoke in salmon and rice and stuff like that. So I gave him a team of x since anytime he uses his voice, he, like, he does big stuff. But otherwise, I tried to give him, like, food-based Pokemon. Yeah, I know Magikarp isn't really, quote-unquote, a food but I know that I think they're sold or something. I'm not sure. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, uh, Vaporeon. Listen, don't don't make Vaporeon into Blue Gatorade. I swear, man. But still, Vaporeon, I just think that he would get along with. I don't know, maybe like hydrate his throat after he rips it up or something. I know. I just thought that Vaporeon would be a nice addition. Like I said, don't turn Vaporeon into blue Gatorade, please and thank you. Uh, I thought Execute would be kind of nice since it's like eggs and stuff and then Pulte Geist. Well, yes, kind of a stretch. I thought that it could go. Maybe you can get some, uh, what's it called, like tea when you got a sore throat. Make some tea for him anytime he uses it, tries to train it. And then, uh, yeah, that was Toge's team. Hey, thanks uh, for watching this video if you've even made it this far. I know it was kind of a weird one about Pokemon and anime, so that was kind of a stretch. But uh, thank you for making this far. If y'all actually like this stuff, then I'll probably make more maybe about UA uh, and My Hero and stuff. Uh, or maybe even Naruto, possibly. Who knows? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm sorry that I didn't even make anything about Mob Psycho's powers. I'm sorry. That that completely was shafted. <laughs> I'll make sure to make good on that here soon. But, uh, bye!